In this video, I will show you how to play and create guitar picking patterns by arpeggiating chords. Learning this will give you an alternate way to play rhythm guitar other than just strumming chords. Hi, I'm Mark Turco, and with this skill, you will make your rhythm guitar playing sound much more interesting instantly. The first step is needing to know how to arpeggiate a chord. This is simply done by making a chord shape with your fretting hand and playing each string individually, allowing the string you just played to continue to ring, then move on to the next string. It's important that you allow the string you just played to continue ringing, otherwise you won't get the blending of the notes ringing. That blending of the notes ringing is what gives the chord the sound that we're looking for. If you don't allow the notes to ring, it'll sound something like this. Play the notes of a chord in an ascending pattern going from the lowest note on the thickest string to the highest note on the thinnest string for practice. I'm going to use an E minor chord in this very first example. We can then reverse what we're doing and play the notes in a descending way. Step two is how to create a picking pattern. Now that we have our ascending and descending ways of arpeggiating, we can combine the two together to make a longer arpeggiated picking pattern. You could do this with any chord regardless of how many strings the chord uses. All we need to do is establish how many notes we will play for every chord to create consistency in our rhythm. In this example, I would choose to play eight notes out of an E minor chord, then move on to an A minor chord. I will play through all six strings ascending on the E minor chord, and then play descending on two more strings for a total of eight notes played. Then, when moving on to the A minor chord, I will play through all five strings ascending, starting on the fifth string, and then I'm going to play descending on three strings for a total of eight notes played. When the two chords are played one after another, it sounds like this. this concept to any chord you know. Now instead of always playing ascending then descending when arpeggiating, we can easily create a pattern that's repeatable. In this next example, we will use the same chords, but this time we will only be playing four notes per chord. The pattern will be comprised of first playing the lowest note of the chord, or the thickest string, then play on strings one, two, and three. Here's what it sounds like with the E minor chord. Here's what it sounds like with the A minor chord. This is what it sounds like when you put the two together. Step 
three is combining different patterns. Having just these two ways of arpeggiating chords and combining the two, you can create something that sounds complex, but really isn't that hard to do. All I did was use example one for the E minor chord, then use example number two for the A minor chord but did it twice to have a total of eight notes to match the E minor chord in length. Start off slow, get the hang of this technique, and use the same picking pattern for all chords you wanna play in a progression in the beginning. Then move on to more complex patterns and combinations of patterns. Let me know in the comment section what other topics you'd like me to make videos on. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button.